first, I may or may not have done something stupid. It could or could not be stupid, but you guys tell me. And this is what I did. I got fake nails and I put them on for my like slime videos. I actually really like them. And I can use them with my slime because I just made an avalanche slime for my friend. But, um, I don't know if it's, like, sensible. I don't know. I just wanted to make a video for you guys looking at these nails. Kind of crazy nails. Yeah, so they're kind of actually really crazy. Whatever. Today, I'm going to be making you guys a tutorial video on how to make some jiggly slime. And for my next two videos, I'm going to do an avalanche and a foam slime tutorial because I recently got some foam beads from my sister's neck pillow because she recently came home. So this is just a little bit of it. And I also have this. So I one neck pillow gave me all of these foam beads. So I was really happy about that. And they make really good flums. They made a really good flum. Like, it was really good. Like, I'm kind of breaking it right now, but they can actually stretch. But I mean, like, it breaks. So I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I already posted an Instagram video on this, so you guys should go to my Instagram and check it out. My Instagram will be linked down below, but if you want to search me search me up manually, I don't know why you would do that. I'm going to link it down below, okay, in the description. So, yeah, and I if I don't do it on this video, know that I did link it in my last two videos that I made. I did link that, I did link my Instagram below in the last two videos, but I didn't tell you guys that, so, um, introduction's done, let's get on with the video. So the things you'll be needing is a bowl to mix it in, a mixing material, I use this fork, like y'all know, some white glue, some borax activator, um, some slime activator, it can be borax, it can be liquid starch, contact lens solution, and baking soda, whatever you guys use. You just gotta have some activator, and I'm using borax, which is just one teaspoon of borax powder to one cup of water. And then the last thing you'll be needing is water, and I just put it in this, and I just put it in this Elmer's glue bottle. So, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that you can also use food coloring, which is optional. Okay, so today I'm going to try and make it this way, so it'll be like a different view. And you guys can comment down below and tell me what kind of view you like better, like this view or the view from before that I did last video. So what you do is you just add in some glue, and you have to add in a whole bunch of water, like a lot of water. The water is to make it jiggly, so I prefer to do it in the bowl right now before it's activated because if you do it after it's activated then it'll take a pretty long time to fold a bunch of it in so i'm just mixing it like this actually, i actually don't remember the style i did my video last time whatever so i am gonna dye it i'm gonna dye it with the blue so just add a couple drops or whatever you like, like, just keep adding it in to you until you like it. Oh, look at that marble effect. It's so pretty. So, it's really liquidy and milky right now. But, that just shows that it's going to be a really good jiggly slime. So, the jigglier you want it, you just, it's just like the more water you add, the jigglier it'll be. So, yeah. The less, wa the less water you add, the less jiggly it'll be. So I'm just gonna mix in the food coloring now. Jeez, I hope you guys can see that. I use a clear like bowl so you guys can see it like this. And now I'm just gonna add in my borax. Just add in a bunch at a, 
So what you want, the key to slime making and stuff is you only add a bit of your activator at a time and you keep mixing it a lot. So yeah, you only want to add in a bit of borax activator or whatever activator you use at a time so it won't get super hard and you'll know just in case that you won't add in too much. So, jiggly slime will be a kind of melty slime, so you guys know that. For my jiggly slimes, I like using, um, I like, what was I going to say? I like adding in more activator at a time because it's just a jiggly slime and it'll be way easier. Sorry, <laughs> the pot kind of boiled over, so we had to fix it. You can still hear it boiling. <laughs> but that's what it looks like right now. I know it looks totally disgusting. So you just keep adding borax activator bit by bit. So I'm just going to go in with my hands now since it seems to be good. Okay, so obviously my jiggly slime isn't really that stretchy, but all you got to do if you want it to be stretchier is you add in like foaming hand soap or you add in lotion. Let me just clean the bowl up a bit. stretchy right now because I added in a lot of activator at once but all you gotta do is you gotta add like you gotta add in more lotion and stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some foaming hand soap so it'll be stretchier but it'd be easier if you use like lotion because lotion stretches it even more Okay, so the foaming hand soap didn't improve it too much right then, so I added in lotion. So guys, I had to take off my nails because it's easier to work with slime with your regular nails than freakishly long claws right here. <laughs> I don't really care too much actually because I really like my regular nails. So I only added in like, I added in a bit of lotion and it turned it to a really soft texture. So as you can see, it's really good now. And it is jiggly. I didn't add as much water into this one, but it is nice and stretchy and it is jiggly. But if you guys want, you can add in more water at the end and just mix it in if you want to make it even more jiggly. But my warning is just that you cannot add in too much water or else if you do, it will turn super liquidy and you won't be able to activate it. 
because I did that once before and I had to add in more glue in order to activate it. So that was really annoying, but yeah, see, I added in more water and it immediately became more jiggly. And I know you guys can't really tell, so I'm going to add in a bunch of water for you guys so it'll be jiggly, like super jiggly. Okay, so I added in a bunch of water, and it mixed in pretty easily, actually. So now, as you guys can see, it's pretty jiggly. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys like this tutorial on jiggly slime. My next video is going to be a tutorial on avalanche slime, so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys can make sure to be able to see my next video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment telling me what other videos you guys would like to see after my film and avalanche slime bit.